Alright D, I'm going to see if I can explain to you what the sump is, um, how the sump works with the overflow skimmer box. So uh, I don't know if I got enough light over here or not, but I'm going to give it a try. Um, and I don't have a really good video camera. But uh, anyway, so that's the skimmer box, okay? Um, I'll pan over to the side and you can see about how thick it is. Okay, and you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but water goes through those little notches, fills up that box, and then goes through this horseshoe-shaped tube, and then into this box on the back. Okay, and this box on the back, let's see if I can get a picture of it, let me move this light. There's a filter, and that filter, filters, it's a pre-filter filters the water and goes down I'm going to move this light, put some more light in the corner here it goes down this hose that looks like a vacuum cleaner hose and down into the sump box okay my kids may come over here and make noise but there's nothing I can do about that but uh, okay here's the sump box so I got a couple of different things going to the sump box usually this stuff's all bundled up neat but I got it all pulled apart so I can show you so I got live rock in there this right here is the pump itself it just sits in the bottom and that's all it does and then there's that this hose right here is the hose that returns the water so the live rocks to buffer the water and underneath right here is a sponge big sponge Let's see if I can if you can look at the side of it I don't know if I'm getting enough light in here and there's a big sponge right there. So at the bottom there's a sponge. And then right here is a piece of that great material. A whole bunch of bio balls. Some more live rock. And actually there's an air stone down in here that oxygenates this column to really grow the bacteria good. Um, okay, so it's super super easy. Um, hang on, baby. I'm making a video. I'm talking to the camera. Alright, so we pull this thing up, and all you gotta do is let the water go right into the uh, little chamber here. And you can look, you can see, you can see I got a piece of filter right here, this regular blue filter. It's about time to actually be washed out. And you can lift this up, and underneath, I got filter cloth, I got a live rock. I got bio balls and I got these pot scrubbers because they're awesome for growing beneficial Bye. bacteria. Baby, okay, go upstairs, take a shower. Um, so that's the sump part of the circuit, I guess. And hang on, let me put this back on here. So it's real easy. Doesn't make a mess. Doesn't stink. Easy to clean up. You can also customize it, so on that, you know, I'm running filter floss and bio balls and that stuff, but you could run purigen or carp, carbon, whatever, whatever else you wanted to run, you could run. Um, makes water changes really easy, because I just take the water out of here, and you can, you can add water or take water out of here pretty easy. It's, it, but I usually, actually that's not true, I usually suck it out of the tank because I'm vacuuming at the same time when I'm doing the, the water change. So, but I can add water to here, so if you have to do top ups, you just add water to here. So there's a few other things that we can discuss on the phone, but that should get you sort of figuring out about what is uh, is going on. So look at the fishies. There's the, you can see back here, there's the pump or the, not the pump, but the uh, circulation pump, I guess. And that's about it. So, uh, tanks looking clean, looking good. Little particles, I probably need to change my filter floss, but any questions, just let me know. All right, bye.